Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the 3D Print Zone. Now, in this video, I'm going to be doing a Cura tutorial and specifically talking about skirt, brim, and raft, which are different types of platform adhesion, which will help you to make sure that your 3D print sticks on the first layer to the 3D printing platform. Now, if you're having 3D prints where they're not sticking well, maybe they're warping, um, maybe they're, you know, uh, peeling at the edges um, and you're having some issues where the prints are failing because of this, then platform adhesion is something that you're going to want to understand and how that could improve the ability for your part to print successfully and print at a better quality. Um, so what I have here is I have my computer set up and my 3D printer. This is an Ender 5. And I'm gonna kind of um, show you on my computer here what I'm looking at and walk you through in Cura what the settings are for platform adhesion and explain what they are. So diving right into the computer here, um, you can see that I have a model um, here loaded into Cura. This is like a, uh, a frog model here. And we are gonna take a look, uh, we're gonna go into preview mode to start off so we can take a look at all the layers. Um, skirt, brim, and raft are platform adhesion, meaning that the really the only layer we care about for this tutorial is going to be the first layer. So I've dragged this down here, so we're looking just at the first layer. Right now, there are no, um, the, the setting is set to no platform adhesion, so you're really just seeing um, any support material and the actual um, first outline of the frog. So if we go here, and we go to, right now, we're just gonna look at it um, under basic settings, and we come here to platform adhesion. So this is the settings um, we wanna be looking at, and right now you can see it's set to none. So let's take a look at each one individually, and I'll talk about what they are, um, and kind of the benefits and, or downsides to each one. So the first one here is called skirt, um, and let's allow this to uh, load, and we're gonna re-slice the model. Okay, so now you can see here it's added what's called a skirt. So a skirt essentially is going to be um, these lines that are going outside of the model. So the important thing to note here is they're not connected to the 3D print itself. Um, and essentially all they're serving um, a, the purpose of is to prime the extruder. And what's meant by that is when you first start a 3D print, um, the extruder wants to kind of um, get primed, meaning it's going to freely flow the filament out of the extruder so that you get um, nice smooth layer lines as you're going around. So what this will do if you select skirt is it'll run and create some lines all the way around the perimeter of your part. And that'll make sure that the filament is uh, coming out smoothly. And the main thing you want to check here is that the layer lines that are coming out on the skirt, um, that they are even, that the height of them is correct, and that it's not peeling up anywhere on the skirt. It's super critical when you're 3D printing that that first layer comes out perfect. And the reason that is, is because that, if you think of it like the foundation of a house, your entire print is gonna build off of that first layer. If that first layer is not sticking well to the bed, if it's peeling up in certain areas, or the materials not, um, you could see in some areas the materials not coming out well, um, maybe the bed isn't level or something like that. These are all things that you're gonna be able to identify with a skirt before the print even starts. So as the skirt's going around, if you see any, any red flags or anything, um, for example, it's peeling or you're not getting enough extrusion or you're getting over extrusion, the best thing to do at that point is to just stop the print re-level the bed if you need to adjust some settings on your printer so maybe you need to adjust the temperatures or the speed or you know the type of platform adhesion um, those are all settings you would change and then start to print up again and monitor skirt the skirt is in my opinion out of all the uh, build plate adhesion types it's actually the one that i use the most often and i find is the most valuable so the one thing to note is if you go to advanced settings here, um, it does allow you to adjust how many lines 
that you actually have here. So if we zoom all the way in, we can see that there are five lines here, skirt line count five, um, for example. I think you really usually only need two or three. Um, so let's just say, for example, we'll change that to three and re-slice um, and take a look at the preview here. So you can see here now, you know, we just have three, um, three lines that are defining that skirt. Um, so th this is a really nice one because uh, skirt is a great build plate adhesion type because it's not something that you're going to have to peel away from the print at the end, as opposed to the other ones, which we'll go over here in just a minute. Um, it's probably from a support perspective, it, it anchors the, the part down the, the least amount out of the, the, other, uh, the other options. But the main benefit here is as long as that skirt is coming out nice and smooth and even and flat, um, the rest of your print will likely come out well um, you know, as the print proceeds. And you wanna, again, you wanna check that throughout the first um, entire first layer and even maybe the first two or three layers of the print. Um, so now let's take a look here. We'll go back to basic settings just for a minute. We're gonna look at brim. So brim and skirt are similar, but the main difference is brim is essentially, if you think of it like skirt, that is actual, actually touching the part. So once let's uh, slice the model here, and then we'll take a look at um, what that looks like for brim. Okay, so now we can see all this additional, uh, additional lines. Um, let's go to the advanced setting because what you can see here is it's right now has uh, 20 lines that it's forming as a brim. So let's bump that down to let's say five or so and take a look at what that looks like. I think that'll uh, make it a little clearer to understand what's going on here. Okay, so you can see inside here we have the actual frog feet, but if you see outside here we have five perimeters uh, lines that are being added to the print and they're actually in contact and touching um, as a brim to the part. Um, so this really helps from uh, adhesion perspective because you have this additional surface area that's touching the part and touching the build print. But the one thing to note as a downside to brim is all of this material um, will need to be peeled away and ripped off of the 3D print when the print is finished. Um, so that's, I think, one of the bigger downsides of this type of, um, you know, platform adhesion. And honestly, I think skirt is still preferred over this because, as again, if that first layer is coming down good, the rest of the print is going to be good. Um, so that's kind of, this is uh, an example of what brim is. And now let's go over to raft. Raft actually adds the most amount of material and, and, and is actually probably best from a actual sticking to the platform perspective. But the one downside is it's gonna use additional materials. It's actually gonna build up a 3D, so multiple layers. Um, let's go ahead and click slice here. It's gonna build up multiple layers of material underneath your print. And with a raft, at the end of the print, what you would do is this, so this is the raft here. This would peel away and break off from the print at the end. But the one thing to note here is at the end of your print, this raft will peel away relatively easily, although there is still a risk that as you're peeling the raft off, if you have fragile features, those may break off as well, which is a risk with this type of um, adhesion. And the other thing too is if you are concerned and you want the bottom of the print to be nice and smooth, by having a raft, you're gonna have a rougher surface on the bottom surface of your print, and that's another big downside to this. So you're using additional material, um, and you know overall I think it's, uh, there's more cons in my opinion to this, in terms as a comparison to um, just doing a regular skirt. But you can see here, so this is building up um, several layers of material before it starts laying down the first layer of your 3D print. So this is kind of a, a, a quick overview of what the different types of platform adhesions are. Overall, um, I think the key takeaway here is you wanna make sure that first layer is coming down perfect. You know, it may seem like you're wasting material, 
if you're partially through that first layer and you have to abort the print and completely shut it off. But what I find is you end up actually saving material and that's because if that first layer is, is not coming out great, you're probably gonna fail you know, halfway through the print or some at some other point later on in the print and you would have wasted a lot more both time and material. So in terms of you know, having your print stick to the bed, it's super important and I think that kind of adding a skirt to a 3D print is recommended for all 3D prints. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you found any value in it, please give it a like. And if you're new to the channel and aren't a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel to be notified of future videos that I post. Um, if there's anything in this that you have any questions or comments about, Leave those in the comment section below. Um, I do go through those and try my best to respond to everyone's questions and comments. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.